I'm Aya Gonzalez, and I'm the owner of Rib City. I've always wanted kasi to have my own restaurant. Um, family ko kasi business talaga. My dad's a chef, so marami na siyang restaurants, may catering business. So, yun talaga, I've always wanted my own. So, after college, uh, nag-conceptualize na kung ano gusto kong gawin, uh, what kind of restaurant, the theme, and then, so there, that's where it all started. I think when you start a business na like this, talagang dapat may goal ka kung anong gusto mong business. Hindi pwede yung, ay, gusto ko lang ng restaurant or cafe. Kailangan talaga may theme, especially now, kasi ang daming restaurants. Tapos uh, parang every month, ata may how many restaurants that come up. So you really have to think of something na new, na people will enjoy. So yun. So when I started, I really wanted a place, a ribs place. Kasi na-realize ko na parang wala masyadong affordable na masarap na rib. Hands-on ako dito. Um, mas hands-on ako, of course, nung sa start. But I still go here whenever I can. Um, now, though, I say I have two branches here now. I have one here and then one in Mandaluyong. So I'm busy with those two. And then sometimes then I help sa marketing ng mom ko. Yeah, but mostly here. Mostly very hands-on here. Kasi I believe na kung hindi ka talaga hands-on, mahirap eh. Every day, I learn something new, whether it's something small or something big, whether it's from the permit process or the food process or anything. But I think the biggest lesson that I've learned is if you want to get into something like putting up a business, you just have to put everything you have in it. Especially if you're passionate about it, it should be easy. Naman. So yeah, just go for it and just give everything you have. Because you don't want that you're going to fall short. Lang. It's very important because there are times that na na parang you're thinking, why am I doing this again? Na parang wala na mga background sa business, wala na mga alam about this. But ko ginagawa to na. Tapos syempre, that fear na it might fail. So the support I get from them is very important because it keeps me going. Na kaya ko to, it's gonna work. Or if it's not gonna work, at least I tried. So it's very important that you have a support system that's really there. It taught me a lot eh, about the real world. It taught me how to... I guess, kasi, di ba, syempre, after college, grown-up life. You know, hashtag grown-up life. You know. So, everything about grown-up life, I think I've learned here. So, owning up to your own mistakes, taking up responsibilities, time management. Yun talaga, time management is a big thing na to fix everything. Syempre, I'm still learning a lot. I'm still young. And I know that Rib City will help me. City, it's a young place. I really wanted it to be like that, so I think that's me. Um, it's minim minimalist in a way. I didn't put too much stuff because I want things to be simple, but I also like being creative. So it's a mix of simplicity and creativity. So Rib City shows that naman through the interiors. Food naman, that's me also. Because I, I, like personally me when I eat, Hindi kailangan yung sobrang fans ng anything. Basta masarap, that's worth talaga the, the money. That's super good na for me. And I, I always see that in anything from shopping to food to traveling. As long as it's worth my money and I get what I pay for it. Yun. So that's what I really wanted with my food. Thanks to Lego. Kasi I really started from the building blocks. Um, the basics, kumbaga. I really built my way to where I am now, and I'm still continuing to do that. Na I have so many plans pa for Rib City, and I hope lang it will become bigger and bigger, just like a big Lego piece or big Lego master. I think the best lesson I've learned is that I can't do everything. I started out kasi parang with the idea that they kaya ko to, kaya ko to. Medyo ma pride. So, uh, throughout the months, I realized na I had to humble myself down. Na kailangan ko din ng tulong eventually. And it's not bad to ask for help. Or it's not demeaning on my own part to ask for help. So, yun, I think that's the biggest thing na 
don't be too proud. Just humble yourself. If you need help, ask for help. If you need, if you get criticism, take it creatively and take it constructively. I'm Aya Gonzalez, owner of Rib City. Proud to be and